YouTube, today we're going to be doing an account review where we log in on a new player's account. I say new, it's technically a returning player with an account that's over level 200, but they didn't play the game for the last two years. Like for real, his best hero is a Valkyrie. I mean, Valkyrie these days is literally the grandma of idol heroes. She needs a freaking Zimmer frame to get around. She's dreadful, but on this account, I'm actually gonna build her, no cap. Take a look at this, VIP 6, level 211. This guy had an opportunity this week to go ahead and get himself a sublimation chest, but no, he decided instead to grab an artifact chest. Mistake, don't do that. If sublimation is a choice, get those watermelons on your account because they're good. Anyway, let's show you this account. This account's wild. We got 67 cores of transcendence. We got some prism story gems, which he's eventually going to convert. I can only use 10 soul symbols today because he's poor. And then if we take a look at the actual heroes, oh boy, that's a lot of 10 stars. But there's not actually anything wrong with this. You might look at this and if it's your account, you'd go, oh no, all my heroes are bad. I'm, I'm going to quit. It's, it's impossible. That's actually a good thing. Like... Lutz, Corpse Demon, Dragon Slayer, Horus, Orbis, Berea, Scary, Vessa? That's a lot of food! It's just 10 star food. At least they're not E1. If they were E1, I'd want to spoon my eyeballs out. But the fact they're 10 star is perfect! So we're going to be using these as food. Sigmund's the only real problem, but I mean, it's Sigmund. He looks cool. It's still a mistake, but you know, we'll, we'll get round to that. And then Valkyrie... Obviously, best hero in the olden days, but now sucks massive balls. So we're going to go fix her a little bit. We're actually going to be finishing her off because look at this account. This guy can build an E5. He's never built an E5, which means the void is locked. If you ever have an opportunity to build an E5 hero and you don't take it because you're sitting there going, ooh, woo, but I make progress elsewhere. No, no, unlock the void right now. Forget the Eloise that you've got your heart set on. This guy has two copies of Eloise down here and another one summoned. What are you going to do with three Eloises? Make a nine star and feel good about yourself? No. Terrible. So today we're going to go ahead and build an account with this stuff and hope it works. It's, it's, it's all we can do. Hope and pray. So we've got 200 backspace, which is good. We're actually going to start things off by getting that E5. We need the void unlocked right now. So we got a lot of promotion stones, not, not tons, but enough. So we're going to put in this Dragon Slayer and a Valkyrie copy. Boom. E4 Valkyrie, and then we're going to get it to E5 right now and unlock the void. So there you go. Lutz is gone. Didn't like him anyway, and that's going to be an E5 Valk. So with E5 Valk unlocked, just for OCD's sake, we're just going to make sure that she's got, you know, decent skills. So Unbending Will and then HP across the board. Uh, we could go with any of these things here because it's Valkyrie. Probably Control Purify, but Resilience is fine for healing. Effective being healed is nice, so we'll probably just keep that and then... Just pray she can kill stuff with her damage over time, which scales with her HP for some reason. She's pretty cool like that. Now, that's us done with the Valkyrie improving. I could level her up, but gold's pretty low, so not going to do that yet. And we have a bunch of stuff to enjoy. So we've unlocked the Realm's Gate, so we just need to pick a hero for this. So we'll just pick a Sword Flash. Not going to waste our time in there yet, though, because we can't beat anything. We've got Void Vortex. That's still, again, going to be a nightmare because we've only got a Valkyrie. The main reason I wanted to unlock this was the Compass of Transcendent. So we're going to go choose Eloise, and we're going to choose Carry. These two together are the best two early game heroes when used in conjunction, and we're going to stay in Guidance. I know Unga Bunga Fate is your mate, let's go, but guys, this is a brand new returning player. I don't want to screw him over by going in Fate. So we're going to start off with Guidance, we're going to stay in Guidance, and that's all we're going to do. So we should get a ton of Stellar Shards from this, and hopefully we can get Eloise and Carry copies. So fingers crossed. Let's see what we can pull. What, Eloise? Amazing start. And chat, you shut up. We're not going in fate. There's your guaranteed sphere. Perfect. So we're going to do it again. Can we get more Eloises? That's another sphere. Can we get more Eloises, though? That's the question. There's a carry. Pog. Okay, that takes us to a bunch of carries on the account now. We need, we need more, though. Come on. Another carry. Let's go. And, um, all right, here we go. Another 10. See what we can pull. Another Eloise. Sick. Right, we're also going to do singles because we need as many Eloises as we can get. Right, Roggy. 
Lamb. I don't see any Eloises. Time Mage. You're not Eloise. Storm Hood. Edgar. Come on. Last two, both Eloises. Here we go. No, Liquor. Rubbish. And final is Eloise. Maybe, chat. Maybe. No, it's Karma. Wrong Shadow Hero. Okay. So, how are we doing? We've already got... Okay. Half a million crystals of Transcendence. That's great. And we're going to go and start steadily, as we go, making progress. Now, quick thing. The guy who owns this account, when you get your first egg, you'll probably want to awaken the egg. So, what you do, you unlock the Galactic Tree, and then you go to awaken... Wait until you get a somber egg. Because the first awaken you ever do of an egg is guaranteed to get you something. And if you look, somber eggs have this guy, which improves damage dealt. It's got this guy that improves holy damage, and this guy that improves skill damage. So the best ones are the holy damage and damage dealt ones. If you can get either of them, you're lucky. So that's what we're looking for. We want to get those bad boys on the account. So just a little bit of a word of warning there. Don't open any egg until you get a somber egg. Good luck. Right, let's uh, go ahead and pull out Elite Hero Shards. Maybe we'll get a bunch of Eloises from this. What do we get? Trash. Amazing. Actually, no, we got a Sarja. That's quite nice. She's a good tenant um, for a lot of heroes, actually. And we got a Home Jung, which is, I guess, cool. All right, that was a fail. Right, let's go with the Dark Heroes. Let's see if we can get a carry from this. Bang. Amon Ra? That's Pog, but it's not what I wanted. And claim the free cause. You guys are absolutely right. I've got like, what, how many? Seven? No. Six. Cool. Maybe we'll get an Eloise from here then. Let's go find out. Maybe we'll get a carry. We'll give him a spin. What can we pull? At least we're gonna get something. It's probably just garbage though. Natasha? Yep. See, I told you guys. Garbage. Tana? Stop it with the Abyss food. Karim? Come on, guys. One Eloise is all we need. That's another Tanner. Last one, Eloise. Make it count. Boom, Cthulhu. That is a real shame. Wait, I got a seventh core? This is it! This is the one! This is the Eloise core. Here we go. Ah, oh, dreadful. Is it worth us buying cores? Oh, yeah, you're a spender! Guy's VIP 6. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have your monthly cards right now? Yes, he's got his monthly cards. Good. Yes. Buy a core every day. You use monthly cards, you get gems coming in. Right, let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we can get. This is annoyingly a guaranteed spit. So, that's it's not the LOE's copy we wanted, but it's still stellar shots. All right, let's go ahead and convert this. There you go. Always go for Stellar Shards, kids. Never go for Crystals. I don't care what your mum says about Transcendence Heroes. Stellar Shards are better. Your mum's walking around with a Star Archivist Home Jung first Transcendence Hero. Don't be like her. Be like MK. Always choose Stellar Shards. You always do two branch swaps in Shadow and get denied anything good. Yeah, we'll do this. Here we go. Bade? Cool. Save. Right, what's the other one? Let's find out. Death Sworn. See? Nothing. Oh, you guys are so right. How many gems has he got to claim? 100, 250, 450. Oh my goodness me. Just keeps on going. How many gems will we have by the end of this? Were we on like 70,000? 75,000? Oh my. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I think unlocking the void was a really good idea. Whoa. Fully cleared Dominator. So that's a ton of gems for you, mate. Are we are now like 80,000. 93,000 gems. Life is good for this guy. Right, let's go build ourselves an Eloise. Nine six-star chests, and he's got nine-star puppet chests. Oh, this guy is fine. He came to me and was like, oh, I'm worried I'm not going to make any progress. Look at this. Perfect. Right, summon these Eloises then. Let's go in. Fortune Ruins. Ten-star Eloise. Here we go. Do we even have a nine-star to feed? If we don't, we'll go and get one. Uh, let's scan across. Thale. So, yep, that's absolutely going to happen. That's a ten-star Eloise. Amazing. Claim some of those rewards then for getting her on the account. Brilliant. So with a 10-star Eloise, what we have is our first damage dealer hero that's actually going to be pretty good. So that's fun. So we're going to level her up to level 250. And we're going to need some ranger gear for her. But right now she's still kind of crappy. Because she doesn't really have anything going for her because she's only 10-star. So we're going to need to get her higher. 
Where does final copy Eloise come from? We need 3,000. Is that 300 free stars? 77 four stars to 517 three stars. And he has loads of three stars in the bag. Yeah. It's, it's three star murder in time. Absolutely three star murder in time. Okay, let's go. So we're going to destroy all these three stars. That's, that's straight up 900. We need to summon more three stars and murderize them. So there we go. They're all in. Let's go back to the altar. Let's murderize all the three stars. That's another 1,410. So now all we need is 19 plus 50, which is 69. Everyone can have a giggle about that. There we go to the altar. Quick select three stars, destroy. Boom. 5,500. Excellent. Which means we can get Eloise copy number final. And that's that's great. That's great. So now we got our Eloise copies. That means we can go to the Compass of Transcended and unselect Eloise. We now want to select our next hero. And that's going to be Ignis. Once you've got three copies of Ignis, you then go and select Tix. It's that perfect, right? It's, it's super brilliant. And you're going to get all the heroes you ever need. Nine star Ignis, though. All you need is nine star. So with that done, let's go and build this Eloise up. So we'll summon this copy here. Sexy time. Summon the four-star armor because you selected her as your main hero, which is actually brilliant for this event. And we are now sitting on one copy of Eloise plus two in this chest. So we'll summon those. That takes us to E4. And then as much as I'm loath to do this, the Glory Epic Selection Chest is probably best used for the final Eloise that we need. And E3-ing Eloise will give us an Ignis. Correct, it will. So that's one less Ignis we need to worry about. Anyway, let's uh, let's just go ahead and open. We'll select Eloise from here. Bang. So we're going to go in. Where's Eloise? There she is. Select this. Nine star. Boom. Eloise copy. Boom. That's going to be E1. And we're going to do all of this until she's E5 because it's just that simple. The question is, do we have enough 10 stars to feed away? But you guys saw at the beginning, this guy's got more 10 stars than everything else in the account. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Right, we're going to feed the corpse demon. We'll leave the Horus because we'll probably want to swap Horus with Tix. So feed Corpse Demon. And I need to unlock Ormus. Ormus, for some reason, is doing something on this account. So is Berea. Yeah, get out of here. Right, now we can go for E5. That's going to be not Horus, but Berea. Plus the Eloise. And there you go. Perfect. Now we need a stone. So let's go ahead and quick upgrade this to Soul Stone 1 to start. We were looking for attack HP. So let's go. Attack, attack, precision. That's okay. We'll go ahead and upgrade it one more time. Confirm. Speed crit. And I'll do one last one for good luck. Speed HP. Now, we can't go any higher, obviously, because we are not an account that has level 6 on these. So we're just going to convert until we get attack HP. Attack holy damage is cute, but we don't need it. Uh, HP precision. No. Block attack. In some game modes, you will need a block stone. Very few, but it will be useful and it would be wrong not to keep it. So we'll get you a backup stone. And now we just need attack HP. Attack, attack. For a tenant, she'll keep that if you decide to go with Mockman. So I'll put that in as well. And you have tons of gems, so I'm actually going to get a third backup stone. And when you regress her, you'll get all those gems back anyway. So it's not a wasted investment because those gems will come back. So we'll convert... Oh, HP, HP. That's actually nice. Uh, so we have, weirdly enough, just good stones. Let's get Ranger Armor off of Valk. 5,000 gems, 200 million gold. That's actually perfect. So we're going to get Resonance Armor here. Brilliant. Eloise! Perfect! That was less than 30 swaps. And that got us everything except for speed. That's perfect. Right. There we go. So we're going to give her full Resonance Armor. And she's got Withered Armor? No joke, good artifact for Eloise, but it's not what we're going to run. So I'm going to go to the bag, and we're going to grab your artifact chest. We're going to open this for a golden crown. Boom. Best artifact to run on Eloise, without a doubt. That gets you rewards from the glory challenge. That's 60 relics. That's going to take our relics total up as well. There's your guaranteed Ignis copy. Very nice. And now the glory challenge. What else are you telling me about? Oh, we get nine stars. Of course, we built an E5. That's brilliant. Now, if we go to the cool events, 
and take a look at your glorious relics. You're on 400, so we could pick up a melodic strings from here, but there is a chance that there is an artifact discount at anniversary. So I would just wait a few weeks until anniversary. Either way, this is perfectly fine. So we're going to go ahead and stick the golden crown on here and then we're going to upgrade it. And you have a ton of this dust. And there we go. Six star golden crown. So let's just go give her HP HP. So she's super tanky because we've gone for a tankier build like that. I'm going to go for attack on her enables and she is looking good. Oh, he's got a free awaken, bro. Should we stick it on Eloise? The one and only. Uh, it's an E. Oh, OK. D minus with heal effect. That's actually not bad. Okay, obtain an E1 hero, so you may progress there. Oh, it's telling you to do a heroic summons a hundred times? Save this until anniversary. Don't even touch it. Don't do scrolls. Don't get tempted. And then um, you should be able to just do the rest as a breeze. So yeah, don't fall into the trap of being like, oh, I've got to do my summons. Ignore it. Ignore it. Don't use a single scroll. Save for anniversary. All right. Sigmund's going to get put in the bin. Convert. Yes. Regress. That's five of your soul symbols used. And that's absolutely fine. We get all that dust back, which is good. So we could go stone hunting again. We'll look for attack HP. Hey, there it is. Thank God. Okay. There it is. It took us a million tries, but there it is. And the last thing we need to do, absolutely, is Void 3 the Eloise. So let's go get some food. So we got all these fortress things back. So we can actually build a bunch of Sigmunds as food. We got the nine stars as well to make this happen. Yeah, this is definitely going to be good. So if we go to the fortress ruins, we should be able to 10 star Sigmund straight away. There you go. And to build another one, we just need to make sure we got six stars. Fortunately, we got a ton in the bag. So I'm going to pull out... Um, first of all, we'll check if there's any just sitting. Oh yeah, we got two here. Perfect. That was easy. Right, Fortune Ruins then, and Sigmund 10 star. Again, should be easy. So let's go grab this. And we go one, two, three, four, five. And then all those six stars. Put in a nine star. And then 13 food heroes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. OD is 13. And that's another 10 star Sigmund. Perfect. So with that. We should be able to upgrade this Eloise to Void 3. And then this is going to be scary. Bang. Void 3. Bell Rain instead of one of the carries. We'll drop a carry and then make a carry 9 star or 6 star. That's actually, yeah, that's a move. That That is a move. Good, 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 good. Good idea. In fact, we can make a 9 star carry, actually. Absolutely. I think we can, we can definitely make carry as a 6 star. Make sure it's a level 80 and a level one. But can we make carry nine star? So I need five more five star heroes in the dark faction. So easiest way to achieve that is one, two, three, four, and then five. Done. And you still got stuff left over for Heroic Miracle. So that's a nine star carry. Easy. So put your six star in. Put in that one. Two of these. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, let's make that nine star carry then. Perfect. We don't even need to level her up either because she's mostly just here to die. So actually, that's going to be really satisfying to look at. We also get ourselves, ooh, an opportunity to get another. Oh, mate, mate, if this, if this is the final carry, we can build 10 star carry today. This is 10%, one in 10. Abed Ra again! It's not bad. It's good. Abed Ra's a great hero. <laughs> but you know what? Sure. There it is. Uh. So, there you go. Let's put this team to the test then in campaign. Let's see how much progress we're going to make. So, let's fast fight with our preset lineup. How far can we get without Ignis? Let's find out. Void 3 Eloise should wreck now. This account was garbage when we logged in. Oh my word. Dominating. Absolutely crushed. Perfect. Here we go. Stage 47. Really nice. Really, really nice. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, we got crowd control and LOEs. Good thing we got control purify. Oh god, the energy steal from the carries is hilarious. And that's a win. Oh, this is easy. 
Right, so campaign's gonna be a breeze for you. Just keep going until you get stuck, and then you'll probably need an Ignis. It's gonna be the same with Tower of Oblivion. This is gonna be an absolute dream time, so as you can see, we'll just keep winning and winning and winning and winning. I wonder how far we get. Well, that happened. It's Mim. So, um, we'll leave the preset lineup. We'll put Eloise on the back line. And then we'll put in a pet. And, uh, actually, I need to put a uh, Tribute Reduction Purify on her so she doesn't get attack stolen. And we'll probably just wreck this. It's Void 3 Eloise. She's insane. So, let's go with Tribute Reduction Purify. Let's beat ourselves a Mim Wave real fast. So, that should be easy peasy. Eloise on the back line always, guys, so that you don't get CC'd. And it means you can manage the other stuff that Mims are going to do to you. Which will be horrible. Mims are not fun. And this should shred. And you feel bad for the account being VIP 6? It's just the nature of the fact that he played in a much earlier time when, you know, the resources you got from VIP 6 weren't as good as you guys just managed to get free to play now. You guys moan about being free to play. You should have played in the earlier days. You get so much stuff for free now that we just didn't. Oh my goodness me. Can Eloise just solo everything? <laughs> oh no. We got stunned. Bro, she's such a busted hero. Okay, there you go. So that's how you're going to deal with Mims. How far can we go again? Put our preset lineup back in. We're currently getting wrecked by Asmodel and Michelle. We're this close to a Mim wave. So use the same strategy I just did to beat that Mim wave and you'll be fine. You'll just have to eventually smash through this. You might need some more stuff to beat this, though. But you'll be fine. Campaign, you can breeze through. So the next thing for us to go take a look at is going to be Realms Gate for you. So I'm just going to bump up all the way to Void Corruption 10. And we're going to see if your team can handle this. So we're going to go ahead and put in your preset lineup that we have here. See if we can beat these various teams. Eloise is bonkers at Void 3. She should be able to deal with this no problem. Let's see how it goes against Forest Waves. The carry energy stealing Garuda is clutch there. Like carry is such a really helpful hero. You only really need her at 10 star to get the most out of her, provided she can still survive. So once she's 10 star, you really do want to focus on ticks and all the other support heroes we mentioned. Oh, and that's a breeze. So if you could be Forest, that's no problem. Abyss will be fine. Uh, Fortress should be fine because you haven't got enough bursts, so pennies will be okay. And there's another Forest Wave. Like, Forest Waves are going to be the worst, but I don't think Garuda's an issue yet for you. No, so you're absolutely crushing this. Avoid Corruption 10. So what you'll do in this, when you go ahead and beat this stage, you'll then be able to take your Void Corruption higher to Void Corruption 11. When you're moving your path through here, always aim for Mysterious Caverns and then put in the heroes it asks you to put in for rewards. So we'll zoom across and I'll give you an example of how that works. Ah, now before we get to there, this thing might be an issue here. This is a Dark Wave. Darks are an issue because you've got Healing Curse from Amon Ra and crowd control from the others. And with no Ignis, crowd control is going to wreck us. Poor Eloise is going to get bullied by Dark Arthendol and Amon Ra, who CC the front line. So that might suck. Um, I think we're still going to be fine, though, actually, against this particular wave. But Dark will inevitably become the pain in the bum that it is so notorious for being. So the two waves that are going to be problems for Eloise style teams are Forest and Dark. And if you ever start running super bursty heroes, and they become your main heroes, so if you're like a Transcendence user, guys, uh, it's going to be Fortress that messes you up because of Penny, and her Reflect damage instant kills you. So yeah, be wary of Amon Ra's and Penny's and Garuda's, because they are disgusting heroes. Right, so here's a mine. These are things that you want to chase. Uh, this is going to reward us for putting in heroes that fulfill the requirements here. So we want 10 star, we want a Priest, and we want a Warrior. So if we just put in your Horus and your Vessa, that already fulfills everything, and that's going to get you a ton of Crystals of Transcendence. So just start that off. And it's nice that you've got a ton of weird 10 stars, because it's actually going to help with that stuff. So this is perfect. So you're going to absolutely breeze through all this stuff. And uh, yeah, good luck to you, buddy. This is going to be really, really good for you. Now, the next stuff we've got is the Void Arc. That's actually going to be really good for you as well, because you've got a bunch of 10 stars, so they're going to help you in this. As you go through here... You're going to want to go and look for these crystals and try and max these out. You've currently got three mineral collectors. So we're going to go down this side here until we get to a mineral collector. And then you want to put your best heroes in mineral collectors. So Eloise is going to go in here and that's going to give her good stuff. Where's the next mineral collector that's nearest? It is over here. So I'm just going to start throwing down some of your random heroes. So just put your 10 stars and everything else. Let's go up here. 
put a 10 star in there head up hit that mineral collector right there so basically put an e5 here and then this next one up here we'll go with the same thing and we'll just drop in a 10 star and then everything else should be easily done now we've already got mineral collectors nearest on this side so you'll be able to do those tomorrow when this fills up and it fills up with a new mineral collector every eight hours so what i'm going to do this side is go this way because that is just going to get us more of these areas unlocked and you definitely have enough stuff. Now, ooh, an egg came up. Now, for an egg, you want to put in your weakest hero because you'll notice with other stuff, it gives you resources. And that's scales. So depending on what I put in, there's different scaling. So a six stars, minus 90, minus 60. But actually, if I go ahead and put in a 10 star, it's even. So I need to put in our weakest one because there's no additional resources. And you can't get like half of an egg. So who is our weakest hero here? How many have we got left? We've got nine left to put in. Okay. So that's going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's going to be a six star. Yeah. So put the six star in there. And then we'll just focus the rest with just your good heroes. So let's go through. So we've got 15 heroes all put in here going ahead and clearing through planets with our best ones going into the mineral collectors. So that's absolutely fantastic. Now we've got some PvP fights we need to deal with. So we're going to put our preset lineup in here. I don't know how these fights are going to go down. But uh, this could go really badly because there's probably going to be a lot of people using Garudas that you're going to struggle with. That said, though, the fact that your Eloise is Void 3 means that kind of stuff's going to happen. Yeah, you're going to dominate. Wow. Yeah, you, you absolutely shredded that guy for breakfast. That was perfect. So that's one PvP fight down. What about this next PvP fight? Here we go. Let's see what we're going to kill. Uh, okay, this guy's using Fiona and Anosuke. That's cute. You know what? That's a really interesting early strategy. I have talked about that before myself, but he's even got Rogan. Wow. So he actually has a ton of tenants for Anosuke. <laughs> Rogan, Fiona, and Anosuke himself. That's a really good team. Um, the only problem he's got is he has nothing to beat Eloise. So, yeah. <laughs> Melted! Oh, uh, if that was a Void for Anosuke, though, like the fact he's got Fiona and Rogan already, two really good tenants. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really cool. Um, but nope, he built the team completely wrong for an Anosuke team. He had everything in wall deck, which was just incorrect. And then, do we have any more PvP fights? Yes, we do. Oh, this guy's got the skin for Vesa, but I don't think he actually is going to have a Vesa. No, there's no way you're going to face people with Transcendence Heroes. Oh, this guy does have a Vesa, but he's a Bozo. So he put the Vesa on the team. Has this guy just ran, like, a team from 2018? Like, look at this garbage. The only good hero here is Eloise. And that Eloise is going to get bullied to death. Oh, mate. Is Aspen just going to one-shot her? Because Aspen does weird stuff like that. Like, he steals attack. So he's attack stolen that Eloise. As you can see. And is he just going to kill her? Oh, and, and Valkyrie steals attack too, doesn't she? Yep. Aspen got the winning kill. <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious. Really, really good team. Really, really fun. And then the final thing we got to deal with is a boss fight. Now, I don't know how you're going to do against bosses. You don't have Ithaqua. Ithaqua is always my go-to for these kind of things. So without it, I don't know what's going to be going on here. Oh, wow. It looks like your damage output here is fine. I think you might kill this. Yo, that's good. There's Phoenix. Fun. Just need to get a good active skill here from Eloise. There it is. Oh, but the enemy boss might live still? Oh, because he instant kills at the end of round six. Yeah, okay. So we died, because that's what happens at the end of round six. But you can two-tap that. That's fine. Um, it might be worth me putting in Heart Watcher and stuff to help you in boss fights like that. That would probably be better. And um, yeah, you're probably going to need a specific boss team. Uh, heroes that are assassins, bursty, are always good for that stuff because it's uh, it's over pretty fast. So I'm going to build you a boss fight lineup, which is probably going to be dealing with broken spaces. So we'll definitely still want Eloise, and you'll want heroes that scale. So stuff like Gurk, Heart Watcher, they can be really silly. Bell Rain's buffs and healing might be useful, and then carries for energy steal is still going to be really helpful. Do you have like a Rogan or something? No, but we probably might still want to run Valkyrie. Um, I think that's a, it's an okay team for now, but Valkyrie's burn will synergize with Phoenix, so that's actually going to be helpful. And then everyone else here is just for damage buffing. And Aspen's really good boss damage, he is, but the 10 star was just getting stunned, so that's the only thing I'm concerned about with this. I could swap him out for, um, Bell Rain though. 
Yeah, that's probably better. So we'll save that. And then we're just going to make sure everyone's got, you know, energy artifacts and things. And that's looking good. That is going to be a pretty solid boss fight team. So I'll name these for you. So this is going to be called Stuff. And um, this one's going to be called Bosses. And then that's what we'll use those two lineups for. Oh, Void Vortex. I think that's the final thing we can do here. So let's go put our preset lineup in. See how far we can get in Void Vortex. Do we just win? Yes, we do. Oh my word. Can I just get you one stage of Void Vortex straight up and finished? Let's find out. Because we're going to have tons of protection. I don't think Void 3 on Eloise is going to struggle. She's an absolute monster. Obviously, you'd be embarrassed if you couldn't beat the first stage. But, oh my word. Yeah, this is a breeze so far. I think we're going to get a lot of progress here today. That's Forerunner Area 6. Okay, that was done in seconds. Let's do the next one. So we'll skip these fights as soon as we're in. There you go, that's a win. Do you actually think we can get beaten by anything? Because we have, like, full protection. Because it's still early stages. There's no way we lose. Right, Forerunner Area 1. And uh, we don't have shadow protection against this wave, so this will be interesting. Let's see how much of Forerunner Area 1 we can absolutely dominate. Look at this, we've got some scary heroes here. We've got Drake and we've got Garuda, but the counter-attack damage alone from Eloise? Like, this this is not a competition. Oh my word. And Carrie's stealing the energy of Garuda is just jokes. Oh my word. That was not fair. The fact that we're just invincible, even without protection. And you say, how? It's Forerunner! It's the first stage of Void Vortex. If you can't beat Forerunner, you're a noob. <laughs> and there you go, the final one of Forerunner Area 1. We'll watch it out. It's got Carrie, it's got Ada, it's got Sherlock, and double Russell. Oh, this is squishy. Those Russells are never getting an active skill. No, sir. I mean, they've dazzled our carries. That could be annoying. Ugh, Sherlock's health swap. And we're energy stolen on Ignis. Not that that's going to matter. Oh, we're sealed. Eloise breaks free. Russell hits us, but it's not enough. And that Tara is out of here. That is a win. So, yeah, this lineup, not only beating Forerunner Area 1 there, I'm pretty sure if our friend logs in now, he might even beat Pioneer as well. Depends how easily that's going to go for him, but he should get some progress there. And the furthest you get in Void Vortex, the more resources you can generate. So your job now that you've unlocked the Void is to always make sure you're as high as you can be in the Void Vortex to generate as many resources as possible to always keep your Void Corruption high and always go for mines to maximize resource generation. And also in the Void Arc, it's always good to have 15, 6 stars or higher to make sure that you can steadily make progress in here, generate as many resources as possible. And the only thing you need to know about is the Central Hall, where you can then exchange Anova Crystals for rewards. Now, typically, you need to get to 132,000 to unlock stage 2, and then there'll be a new amount you need to get to that point. The best way to get to 132,000 is to buy an egg, and then to get Stellar Shards, Crystals of Transcendence, and then Stardust. That's the main stuff. I know scrolls might be attractive, but don't grab them. Stardust, Stellar Shards, and Crystals are arguably the best resources to go for. Eggs, though, are really, really important because eggs help you get star spawns, and star spawns, as many people will tell you, are a pain in the bum to get, but very, very powerful. After you've opened your guaranteed star spawn from a somber egg, you'll need to get 15 eggs opened, and on the 15th, that's guaranteed to hatch as well. So always open a somber egg on the 15th egg until you have both the light hero and the transcendence one, and then after that, go for entangled eggs on 15 to try and get yourself some juicy, juicy spirit of wisdom for the crowd control maim, which is the assassin of cold blood one here. That one is going to improve your damage against opponents, the more damage they've taken, and then after that point, just try and get whatever you can. This one that gives attacks, nice. And then uh, there's one that gives HP too, which is pretty useful. But generally, you'll focus holy damage, all damage dealt. You'll go for control immunity offset, which ignores control immunity on opponents, and maim to maximize damage. There are a few others that people like. Block can be fun if you're using late game teams, but you're not late game, you're early game. And then dodge offset can be okay if you get this to 140 alongside the Spirit of Transcendence because there's actually a secret one you can unlock which is in the Star Awaken integration menu. If you have two level 140 star spawns and merge them together, you can actually 
if you're lucky, open up one that is a super improved version, and the dodge and transcendence one gives you one that gives precision and all damage dealt, which is pretty good. So that's a lot of stuff for you to consider for star spawns, but generally just focus on opening normal eggs for now. Congratulations, my friend. You've unlocked the void. You're going to make a ton of progress, and hopefully in a few months, you'll have yourself a transcendence hero. And that's when you want to start considering making Vesa to E5. Leave her at 10 star for now. Don't even touch her. Um, and as I said, your next heroes to focus on are 9 star Ignis, 9 star Waldeck, an E5 Tix, and a 10 star Carry when we get one more Carry copy. Once you've got that extra Carry copy, you're still going to want to pick up Carries from the Compass of Transcendence because inevitably you will E5 her. When you get her to E3, you'll get yourself a Drake from the Glory Challenge, and you'll want to build yourself a 9-star Drake as well. I hope that was pretty fun for you guys. We've done a ton of stuff here, and we've transformed what was a pretty wonky account into a really good Eloise account, which has a lot of room to grow. So if you've learned something, guys, I hope um, you take away from this as an early player that it's really easy to make progress. All you need to do is use someone like Eloise. I know like it's a really prescribed hero, but the faster you make progress in this game with an Eloise, and the more resources that you can generate from the void, the quicker you can get Transcendence heroes and start building really fun and creative teams. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good week and happy idling.